How you doing dessert junkies? I hope you have been well. Well of course it is the spooky season. That's right guys, it's Halloween. This year I thought I'd be a kitty because kitties are cool and I have a cat tail. I have a cat tail. I'm going to be showing you some great little Halloween recipes that you can bring to your Halloween party. Starting on with something that's very popular with little monsters and little zombies. This is my Halloween monster mash. Okay, spooky dessert junkies, first thing we're going to do is heat and melt our chocolate. I just like to do this on a stove top, so I've got some water in a pot that won't touch the bottom of the bowl. I'm adding one packet of dark chocolate and half the amount of milk chocolate. If you're doing this for small children, they generally don't like dark, so just swap those ratios around. Once your chocolate is all nice and melted and nice and runny, you want to pop it onto a baking tray that is lined with some baking paper or parchment paper and you want to make this nice and thin Then spread it out so it goes right to the edges. Once you've got your chocolate nice and thin, it's only a matter of decorating your monster mash. So what am I decorating mine with? Well, of course, it's Halloween, you have to have candy corns. I am a little OCD about candy corns. Yes, that was a candy corn of my bracelet. That's how OCD I am about these things. I love them. Then I've got some eyeballs, which are just Wilton eyeballs. You can make these, they're really easy. It's just royal icing going hard and then just some black food dye to make it the eyeball. I've also got some M&Ms here, which I'm going to put all the colors on except for the dark ones. Not that I'm racist, you just don't see them on there. But if you're using, say, white chocolate, go for it because all the colors will pop. I've also got some candy teeth, all different things. I'm just going to pop this into the fridge until it goes nice and hard. Unfortunately, in my fridge, mine decided to tip halfway through the setting process, but that's okay. It kind of looks cool, I think. And then all you gotta do is just chop it up into bite-sized chunks for all your little monsters to nibble on. There you have it, guys. This is really simple and easy. It's a monster mash! And there you have it, guys. These are really simple to make and you can put all different types of candy in them. And they're great for kids, but of course, supervision because you are dealing with hot chocolate. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I have a goal of getting 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We are 26 off. Can you believe it? 26, isn't that nuts? So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all next time. Bye guys.